Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Python 3.10 should be released today. So in this video, I go over all the important changes to bring you up to date. The new version brings some great new features and improvements. So let's go over them. Structural pattern matching lets you match variables against a set of different possible values like the switch case in other languages. You can use it with the match statement and case statements of patterns with associated actions. Here's a simple example. Notice also how you can combine several literals in a single pattern using the pipe operator, but you can match it not only against a simple value, but also match against patterns of values, for example, a tuple or a class object with a certain property set to a specific value. Pattern matching is certainly the most interesting new feature and I can see it being used in many different scenarios. Now you can use enclosing parentheses around context managers when you use the with statement. This allows formatting a long collection of context managers in multiple lines. An optional strict boolean keyword was added to the zip method to ensure all iterables have the same length. Zip creates one single iterator that aggregates elements from multiple iterables. The default behavior is simply to stop when the end of the shorter iterable is reached. Like in this example, it just combined the first two elements and discarded the third name. With the new parameter strict equals true, this will now raise a value error if the iterables do not have the same length. This is another improvement I find really helpful. Many of the error messages have been improved, not only delivering more precise information about the error, but also more precise information about where the error actually occurs. For example, in this code with a missing parentheses, the old error was just an invalid syntax message, not even with the correct line number. And now we can see the correct line number, the correct position and the good error description. Here's another example with an indentation error. Again, we see the exact line and position and an accurate error message. I like these improvements a lot and I think this could be especially helpful for beginners that previously oftentimes only got confused by the error message. The typing module provides runtime support for type hints and got a few additions in Python 3.10. A new type union operator was introduced which enables the syntax x pipe y. This provides a cleaner way of expressing either type x or type y instead of using typing.union. Additionally, this new syntax is also accepted as the second argument to is instance and is subclass. Now the typing module has a special value type alias, which lets you declare type aliases more explicitly. This is useful for type checkers to distinguish between type aliases and ordinary assignments. In addition, two new options to improve the information provided to static type checkers have been provided by Paramspec and Concatenate. I will link an article below where you find more details about these types. Python now requires OpenSSL 111 or newer. Older versions are no longer supported. This affects the Hashlib, HMAC and SSL module and modernizes one of CPython's key dependencies. Also, the entire distutils package is deprecated and will be removed in Python 3.12. No new modules are added, but a lot of modules have been improved. Here's a brief overview of most of the improved ones. And again, you can find a full list in the article I put below the video. Multiple optimizations were implemented to make Python faster. The most important ones are the constructors for string, bytes and byte array are now faster, around 30 to 40% for small objects. And the runpy module now imports fewer modules. This means the command python 3-m module name has a 1.4 times faster startup time on average. On Linux, python 3-i-m module name imports 69 modules on python 3.9 and now only imports 51 modules on python 3.10. That's 18 less modules in the new version. 
Python 3.10 brings many great new features, optimizations and improvements. The most interesting one is certainly the pattern matching feature and I also like the improved error messages a lot. So let me know in the comments which new feature you like the most and if you plan to upgrade to the new version anytime soon. And then here's another video that might be interesting to you and I hope to see you next time. Bye!